So if a man who is emotionally entangled with his mother is in a relationship, there is likely to come a point in time where the man will be less available than he was before. And this can be a time when he will end up focusing more on his mother. And at this point the woman could believe that he has changed. But in reality he will have simply gone back to how he was before. And one reason why this will be is due to the fact that focusing on his mother will be what feels comfortable. And this can also be a way for him to no longer feel smothered and controlled. And on one side this can seem strange because by focusing on his mother he is not exactly going to be free. And so taking a step back from his partner and going back to his mother in a sense will free him up a bit or can free him up. And at this point the man after being with a woman for however long can feel trapped and controlled and he can need his face. And at this point it could show that he is with a woman who is quite masculine let's say or he could simply be perceiving his partner in this way. However regardless of this due to the fact that he will most likely find it hard to assert himself and to stand his ground to speak up and he will have the need to be nice and to please the woman just as he has the need to please his mother. If the woman was quite feminine in the beginning and she has changed this will be due to the fact or it can be due to the fact that he has been unable to take the lead to play the quote unquote male role and because of this the woman will have ended up filling in the space. She will have been forced to take the lead to make decisions and to plan things because the man won't have been able to stand his ground and to get things done. So regardless of if the woman has been or hasn't been controlling or if he is simply perceiving this, if she has become more masculine it won't be a surprise. And it can seem strange as to why the man can be so passive and unable to assert himself to stand his ground to be in his masculine ultimately. And this will most likely be due to what took place during his formative years and the impact that this had on him. So at this stage of his life his mother most likely used him to meet some of her adult and unmet childhood needs and he would have been forced to be there for his mother to take care of her needs and to lose touch with his true self, so his needs and feelings and to leave his body because this is where his true self will be found, it won't be found in his head and if he expressed himself he probably would have been disapproved of, punished and or abandoned and so it simply wasn't safe for him to express who he was and, and he wouldn't have received the nutrients that he needed to grow and develop so he would have stayed in a traumatised state and an emotionally stunted state and so now that he is an adult he will continue to believe deep down even if he is not aware of this if he was to assert himself and to be in his masculine to stand his ground to have boundaries he would end up being rejected and abandoned and his life would come to an end and he will also have the need to be taken care of so unconsciously he will also project the mother in addition to projecting the mother he had he will also project the mother he wanted onto his partner and so a big part of him will want to be taken care of will want his partner to do things for him and to make the decisions because this part will be looking for what it didn't receive and then of course in addition to this he will see his partner unconsciously in the same way as he saw his mother, so someone who is 
withholding, controlling, and someone who is scary, someone that could harm him, someone that could leave him and cause his life to come to an end. But of course, his partner is not his mother, but in order for him to be able to step into his power, to assert himself and to take the lead when it is necessary, because although the woman might not mind taking on a more male role from time to time, she may have to do this at work, for example, or should I say something that has been seen as a more traditionally a male role of taking the lead and making decisions. So if she does this at work, most likely she will want to have moments when she is with her partner and he can take take the lead, make make the decisions so that he can take some weight off her shoulder, her shoulders. And so as this stage of his life is over, it is not possible for the woman to be his mother to give him what he needed. The stage is over. And as she is not his mother, she is not going to destroy him, she is not the Sphinx. So in order for the man to see the woman for who she is, and to be able to stand his ground, to take the lead, to take the male role, to be able to take the male role, then he will need to work through his emotional wounds to grieve his unmet childhood needs because the stage for him to have a mother is over and all the time he looks for this he will expect too much from a woman and of course he will need to work through his trauma so if you're a man and you can relate to this you can see that you unconsciously look for a masculine woman or you end up turning or have turned your partner into a woman who is very masculine even though she wasn't that way before and you want this to change and you are ready for this to change and you may need to reach out for external support so that you can start to work through your wounds and to step into your masculinity because you are not here to be a doormat and you are not incomplete you are a whole human being but in order for you to realize this you will need to face your pain and to heal your wounds. So don't suffer in silence. To find out more about the services that I offer and how I can assist you on your journey, go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk I'm looking forward to assisting you on your journey.